you could conceive uh, of a reality where Hikaru loses this game. On the other hand, Prague would hold with black. He would have a game with white tomorrow. He would gain more rating. And perhaps he would feel a little bit disappointed that he didn't squeeze more out of the advantage. But come on, you're playing Hikaru Nakamura. And uh, to not convert a minus one position against Hikaru is, is nothing to be embarrassed about. Nobody can seem to convert better positions against Hikaru. Yeah, it's uh, basically Hikaru's characteristic Yeah, that he survives every single challenge. Yeah. I mean, it, it really feels like he has a thousand lives. And... Uh... And yeah, here with this knight c knight c4, he turned uh, the table. Objectively, black was perfectly fine. Maybe black would have pushed. But practically speaking, Hikaru managed to create himself the play that was necessary for the time pressure. It was easier for him to play. Uh, and I also feel like it would be a very fair, fair result if this game ends in a draw. I'm honestly really impressed with how Prague handled the stage of the game after he allowed Hikaru to get active. He didn't panic. He made some inaccuracies, and arguably Hikaru did have a chance for this advantage, but it, was, it would have been very easy uh, in Prague's shoes to completely collapse. Instead, he handled uh, the new set of challenges with a lot of grace, and he went right back to ultra-precise play as soon as time control was made. So just really impressive resolve. We mentioned that this is one of Prague's biggest tests. How will he handle uh, the turn of the game in Hikaru's favor? And I think we more or less have our answer provided uh, that he finishes up with a couple of accurate moves. But I think we're likely and likelier to see a total liquidation of the C pawn for the A pawn after rook D8 check. Yeah, but now he has to be, yeah, because this rook takes B6, C takes B6 lines are very devilish and uh, very good for white. However, at first sight, they look and take and I have some chances. No, actually, it's exactly the opposite. White is the one who gets Great chances. Indeed. So Rook D A check has to be played. Yeah. This is uh, perhaps three more difficult decisions uh, that stand between Prague and a peaceful conclusion to this game. Rook D8 check, King C3, and then probably Bishop F7. And at that point, I think Hikaru will be ready to push C6. And uh, that c6 pawn is actually kind of hard to attack. Black might have to double on the c-file. Black might also invest the tempo to push his own pawn uh, to a2, where it would be protected by the f7 bishop. And then Black has to watch out for the move bishop d3 to c4, slicing off the connection between Black's bishop and the pawn. So there is still an element of uncertainty, an element of tactics in this game. I'm not seeing exactly how the pawns will get liquidated just yet. Yeah, but eventually we will get there. Yeah, once uh, once all this moves, I think them can highlight the lines that are most likely to happen. But all eyes on Prague because he doesn't have so much time, and one could be that Rook D8 is kind of the natural only move. Uh, but he's taking his time. Does he consider Rook takes B6 as a serious alternative? I hope Which, not. I hope not as well. The the Nate, that move is, is misleading, right? Looks forcing, looks like you can get that B pawn. Um, and it's so tempting when you feel how close you are just to forcing all the rest of the pieces off the board. But have to approach these moves objectively. And with six and a half minutes, Prague maybe just kind of gathering himself and a little bit of anxiety there as he reaches for the pen that he just dropped. And we will get a blitz game battle that has had so many different stages and a interesting opening now a really interesting tactical end game as well yeah very tense still a very tense moment rock has played wonderfully but uh, you never know yeah hikaru is waiting for that if sudden bug shows us, hikaru will exploit it instantly so Prague needs to be super precise Oh, huh. without question. And I'm starting to get a little bit concerned. How much has he spent on this move? Something like six minutes now, which means he is definitely seriously considering alternatives to rook d8 check. Maybe it's rook d7 check. But no, then king c3, that to me makes almost no sense at all because the bishop will hang and you've left the a pawn without supervision. Five minutes now on Pragnananda's clock as he tries to 
cross one more important hurdle. Oh, and he car offered a draw. That's what he was thinking uh, about. Yes. Huh. That solves the mystery. Yeah, because, okay, a Duke DA check will be played, and it's always very interesting to look at how they are discussing and, and look at this Hikaru showing what he has maybe missed. Yeah, making some motion to the right side of the board. And a draw for totally reasonable here. After Rook D8, the endgame remains very balanced. And I think Hikaru just happy to escape this game with a draw. Yes. Okay. Wow. Huh, what a game. Yeah, very high quality. Indeed. Players analyzing there. Well, we have an interesting pun end game in the women's section, in the game of Eline Rubers, who is the only player remaining with a perfect score in the classical portrait. She is six out of 